Good morning everyone and welcome to the Berry Mountain Homestead. If you are new, I am Michelle and Tony will also be with us later today, but he just ran up to our house to get the camera tripod. Um, so today we are going to be doing lots of gardening. We're gonna be setting up our big garden. We started all of our plants, tomatoes, peppers, zucchinis, um, with the winter sowing and we've shown that before, but we're gonna be taking those and putting them and transplanting them into the big garden today. We're setting up our cattle panels today. So doing all of the big bulk gardening. It's beautiful, it is very hot though, um, but we're planning to get that all done today. So we're gonna take you along for it all and show you everything and how we set up the garden. We also have a lot of progress to our tower garden, our vertical gardening that we did, I think in our last vlog. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you like the progress because things are really thriving in this garden. We've been really liking it. It's the green stock. Um, I can link I, in the info, we can put like the information for it and everything. And we have a coupon code for I think 10% off that we'll put in there too. All right, so it looks a lot different probably than when you saw it last. There's a lot of growth that's happened. Um, these beans have all come up. These were just started in seeds. We have bush beans in here, so they are looking really, really good. And then all of our herbs have just gotten much, much bigger, and we've already clipped the basil because it's doing so well. So there's more beans over here also. We have some more basil growing from seed here. And I think this is catnip. We have catnip growing there, but yeah, we really, really like this. It's doing really well. It's perfect for small spaces for the RV. As you can see, like it's on our little RV porch. So I've been loving this a lot. So here is everything we have that we want to plant today. We have a bunch of different tomatoes. This is the winter sowing that I was talking about. These, whoop, all that water just, just landed on my foot. Um, this is the winter sowing we talked about that we did. Last year we put them all into red solo cups, which Tony did for the zucchinis, but we haven't done that for the tomatoes. So they're still in their original little container, which is fine. Um, we have tons, we have a lot left over. And then some peppers and things like that, some onions, lots of zucchinis. And then we have this garden bed before we go down to the big garden. Um, we made this garden bed last year just out of some logs on our property and we're gonna rip up this old kale first and put I think some zucchinis in here maybe some peppers and do a little bit of the garden up here before we go down there we have these grow bags up here too this is good for small spaces also but Tony already put some of the zucchinis in these grow bags and you can see we have some growing already so that's exciting and then we have some lettuce too it's so hot right now, I'm thinking this might not be the best right now, but nonetheless, we have a grow in there. Um, so maybe we can do more of the grow bags up here for some of the stuff on that table before we head down to the big garden. Even when the river stops when it all looks different yeah. Even if I grow up Even if something's missing yeah. If something's missing I'm still coming home I'm still coming home To breathe the air They taste so sweet and Knows all my strength, knows all my weakness Reminding me that I was a child Reminding me that I am coming home I am coming home We just pulled out all of our grow bags We're going to weed whack behind it to kind of get it down before we plant And then we're going to move them all back and plant some hot peppers and other things I don't know what else we used these grow bags last year. They work really well. Um, you have to water them a little bit more than a regular pot because they're breathable, so they kind of dry out a little faster. But other than that, they work fantastic. They're cheaper than containers too, and they're lighter. Way lighter and cheaper. Yeah. Yes. And you can get big packs of them. Like we got, heck, I think the whole pack uh, on Amazon. It was one big pack of them. Yeah.
right, so I'm pulling out the peppers from our containers here. And we obviously, we have way, way too many. Um, so I think what we're gonna try to do, here's all the peppers. I mean, this is just two kinds. So we have Sugar Rush Peach and we have Hungarian Hot Wax in this one. So because it's so much, I think what we're gonna do is uh, try to pot them up later in the week and sell them. And we just, like the zucchinis, we just put them in bread solo cups and sell them for like a buck. Um, last year we did that and we made enough to at least pay for like all of the soil and all of the seeds for that year. So that's an awesome way to get your money back. Um, it is a little late in the season to be selling them, but if we sell some, we sell some, if not, no big deal. So we're gonna do that for these and then also to get them out, I've really just been grabbing clumps of them, honestly, and pulling them apart because they are so tightly wound up in there. And I just, you know, try to get like the strongest ones, the weaker ones, we toss if they're already pulled out like this. So for this garden bed, I'll pull you down a little bit to show you. Um, we are going to be doing some peppers here, like one kind here, one kind here, one kind here, and then a zucchini on the end. Um, we're doing a bit of experimenting this year. So we wanna keep the hot peppers up here and keep the not hot peppers, the sweet peppers down in the garden because you shouldn't have them next to each other uh, because then you know, they're gonna mix flavors and stuff like that when they cross pollinate. So we're gonna put some peppers up in this garden bed here. Some peppers, you can see Tony prepping the grow bags there. Um, and that way we can kind of like see if these do better or those. We're also doing an experiment with our zucchinis. We're gonna have a zucchini in the garden bed. We're gonna have a zucchini in the grow bag. And we're gonna have a zucchini in the big garden. And you would think zucchinis would be better in the big garden. However, for some reason, um, as you guys might know, we are using my parents' garden right now because you know of construction on our home, and they just don't have a lot of good luck with zucchinis in their garden soil, which is odd because they have great soil. They use horse manure, and it's phenomenal soil. But she's just not had a lot of success. We used to have so much success with zucchinis where we lived a little more south. Um, last year we got some, but not like not a ton. So we just thought it'd be fun to do a little experiment since we have an abundance of these plants anyway. All right, I am taking a break. I'm currently covered head to toe in mud and sweat, but with being pregnant, my stamina is not what it used to be. So I'm gonna take a break on the hammock and put my feet up because they feel super swollen. Tony is continuing to get the grow bags ready. If I had to guess, honestly, I don't foresee us doing much in the big garden today. I feel like we're just gonna get a lot done up here and then like later in the week, go down and do the cattle panels and plant. But you never know, once we take a little bit of a break, we might head down there, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's in another video and this is all just like the gardening up here. Um, just because it is so hot and like I said, with being pregnant, I don't have the stamina that I had, but that's totally okay. It is like a lot to do all the gardening up here and down there in one day, but maybe we can just get the cow panels up um, and just plant like another day. We'll see, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy this hammock and put my feet up. So we're moving on to our, installing our cattle panels for our tomato trellises. There are only three things, I lied, four things that you need to do this. You need your cattle panels, or your hog panels, your T-post, zip ties, and a post pounder.
Okay, so we have the first one done, and as you can see, it's got a little bend in it, a little wavy. This isn't for a magazine, this is a garden. It's fine. She's still resting on his shoulders so that she doesn't miss a thing. Way above the crowd, she sits and sings that I'm coming home. He is coming home. We got two cattle panels in here and that is gonna end the day today of what we're doing because it is so hot. So I'm gonna show you kind of like real quick our plans for down here in the garden just to show you what we're putting where and what our plan is. Okay, so tomatoes are gonna be the bulk of the cow panels and then we're gonna put beets underneath them. Then we're gonna use this space here for some peppers and then that garden bed we're thinking more peppers and then over here we're gonna do a line of our onions that we have started and then maybe some zucchinis down here. So as you saw, we just did zip ties on three posts this year, not four. Like last year, we just felt like last year we had four and it wasn't really necessary. Um, so these are totally fine with three with some zip ties and they have been the best for tomatoes that we've found so far. We like them better than like um, these over here that we've used in the past. Like these are great and all, but I just love the cattle panels. I think they're awesome for tomatoes. So that is gonna end this very hot gardening day. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will catch you in our next video. Bye.